right here in front of the CBS Studio Center, which was started by Mark Sennett more than a century ago. That's of course where Studio City gets its name. But when you're hanging out with celebrities and studio executives, you're gonna see that reflect in the real estate prices as well. Nearby, you can find plenty of great diners like Mendocino Farms, Jones on 3rd, or the Aroma Coffee and Tea Company. Further west on Ventura Boulevard is an art deco bookstore called Bookstar, and there's pins bowling as well. At night, places like Laurel Tavern and Black Mart Liquor Bar come alive. Running through Studio City is a North Valley Heart River Walk, which extends for just under two miles. A great place to walk your dog or just decompress. There's also Williker Park, a great local hiking spot. Close to half of Studio City residents over 25 had earned a bachelor's degree by the year 2000. It's no surprise with such notable schools in the area. Campbell Hall and Carpenter Community Charter School are rated definitely way above average. Everybody knows Harvard Westlake, which is another beautiful campus located on Coldwater Canyon Boulevard. From there, you can also easily go south to Coldwater Park and Beverly Hills. Some people might say that Studio City lacks diversity. Among the residents, this may be true, but nearby magnet schools foster voluntary integration. Real estate is, of course, quite expensive in Studio City. You're going to be hard-pressed to find anything under a million dollars here, and that reflects among the type of people that live here. A lot of the folks make a lot of money in Studio City. You'll be rubbing shoulders with a lot of celebrities if you do get a house here. You'll find that, of course, naturally north of the boulevard is a little bit more affordable, but once you head south, you'll be ready to spend a lot of money. Universal Studios and Toluca Lake border Studio City on the east. The Hollywood Hills west border Studio City on the south, and to the north is Valley Village, and to the west, Sherman Oaks. These are all equally bustling and expensive areas. Many notable people grew up here, and I'm not even including the Brady Bunch, even though their house is nearby and one of the most photographed homes in the entire nation. Eddie Van Halen also had a music studio here. The Universal Studios Metro Station will take you downtown or to the North Hollywood Station where you can get on the Orange Line going east. Studio City is a vibrant area where, to be honest personally, I love to go and get drinks. I highly recommend it as long as you can afford it. Your money will go very far. Call me, Julian Park. Let's go check out some homes.